I'm David Sheldrick, the founder and director of the business. My name is Nicole Markov and I do branding and videos. My name is Max, I am the operations manager. I'm Andy, I am head of sales and marketing. Wimbledon Studio, which is where we are right now, started about a year and a half ago. This used to be a pub called The Slug and Lettuce. We built this studio from scratch with the walls and doors and paint and all that sort of stuff. You kind of bond when you do that sort of thing because I've never built a studio before and I learned so many new things in terms of woodwork, carpentry, certain ways to do things. I think there are elements of this studio and our own careers that are tough to balance because obviously we contribute massively to the studio in our own way. Obviously Max is the studio operations manager, I do marketing and sales, so the studio kind of relies on us doing it, otherwise no one will do it. But then we've got our own careers as well. I also find that the two feed each other, as in the things you learn, well I learn in the studio, inspires me to create new things personally for myself. The one thing I really struggled with when I was doing photography on my own was like finding a community in which you could test your creativity, experiment with new things. Yeah, I, I guess it gets quite lonely when you're on your own doing freelance work, but when you're in a studio environment, it's not just the people around you like Max or David and Nicole, it's clients as well that come in and you build that rapport, you build that chemistry, you build that relationship and you find out about them as well and it opens our minds and opens our vision of there's this whole new world of photography out there which we didn't even know of and we're learning that way as well. When we're doing branding, when we're doing marketing, we do everything in-house. Everyone is a content creator so we can all every day create some sort of asset and for me like an asset is already when you're shooting you put up a GoPro in the corner and you're shooting a behind the scenes video of you shooting and so maybe I'm shooting for a client, but I can use that behind the scenes video for PS Spaces on their Instagram and promote the space. So it's always like trying to be inventive. How can I squeeze as much as possible from this one shoot or this one hour I have here? I think one of the most challenging parts of starting the business and continuing to grow the business is that you almost have to be good at loads of different things. You have to be, number one, just good at photography and lighting. But then I had to learn how to build. And then, you, as Nicole said, you then have to learn how to build websites, market yourself digitally as well, create deals, develop the business so that you have some kind of roadmap in the future of like where you're going. You know, maybe you want more studios or maybe you want to go into production more or maybe you want to become more of like an agency. You are not allowed to stop learning. You have to keep on doing it. I use Phase One because it's the best photography camera in the world. Nothing even comes close to it. Counterintuitively, it actually is much more simple to use than a lot of other cameras. It just does photography incredibly well. Phase One ultimately also allows us to take on loads of new business as well because a lot of clients who run their own companies actually really do care about the quality of their marketing and so as long as you can really somehow get that across to them, most businesses are happy to pay for it. The quality is so much higher that they can't really go and get it anywhere else at that point and after you show them they find it very difficult to go back to a previous quality. You know it's going to be premium when you shoot the product. I mean, if you've got a team around and you're tether shooting, which we did today, they look at the screen and they're blown away because it has that wow factor.